Hello guys and welcome to Butterfly Soup. This is a Yuri Game Jam I entry made by Brianna Lay. You can find her itchio link on the descript in the description below. And this is a game about gay Asian girls playing baseball and falling in love. In other words, it's a lesbian bachikoi, which I will totally approve of, and I doubt they're sexy because this is an itchio for free. Look. I have burnout from Bajikoi. I need to take a break from that shit, alright? So, lesbian? So, I'm fine with lesbians. I'm a totally open-minded person and the art looks gorgeous. Look at that. Anyway, let's begin. Wait, let's see some settings. Window full screen on Z-Text, after choices. Uh-huh. Wow, this is something. This is a bit special, I think. Actually, I can- Oh my god, you can choose from here. Oh! Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Do we even randomize the char main character? I think this is programmed. Dia. Oh, her name's Dia. The summer between 3rd and 4th grade. Once upon a time... I love how sketchy it is. Sketchy! <laughs> I love how sketchy it is. There lived a princess named called Min Seo. She's Korean. She liked weapons. Everyone was terrified of her. She threatened you with knives and steal and break your things. She always got to enter the principal's office because she was bad. Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to pick prick her finger on a spindle and die. Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. <laughs> like a, and she fell into a deep death-like slumber, or at least she was supposed to. Instead, the princess sat up abruptly and said, This is the worst story in history! I'm escaping! What? I mean, that's not how it goes. I'm right here. Evil dragon. The evil dragon. I killed you already! Huh? With what? A gun! You don't have a gun. I made one out of rocks! <laughs> the hero has arrived. As Min Seo's twin, he's trying to reason with her. Min, that's impossible. Who cares? I have a- if I have a gun, I win. Ah. Uh... It's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. This time, no one, someone else be the princess, not me. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me. Fine, Dia does seem more like the princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're really pretty. And it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Uh, I just meant that she's less violent. But whatever. Ah, does the little, little Min like me? Second try. Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Dia. She was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say. It was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth, something would come out that shouldn't. She once told, held onto an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want people to see her walk across the classroom to do the trash can. It was that kind of quiet. She was also insanely athletic. There were rumors that on her shirt, she had a six pack. Tragically, Despite how buff she was, this princess was also cursed to touch a spindle and die. And one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spell but her true love's kiss. For many years, she... Dia, get up! I'm here to rescue you! Haha, <laughs> only the hero can wake her. That's me! I'm the hero! Wait, no? It's supposed to be Junsio. No! It's me! But if you're the hero, then what am I? Ah! Uh, gun! What? Min grabs Jin's arm and aims it at the dragon. Bang! You're dead! Nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. I have a gun too. Why? You're a dragon. This is America! Everyone has a gun! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry that 
should have been so funny. I also have a gun. <laughs> Bang. Min's dead. Min looks very hurt. Why? I'm here to rescue you. Don't want to be rescued. I can save myself. But if we do it together, it'll be more fun. We can ride off into the sunset on my horse. What sunset? What horse? You! Me! Gun horse. That does sound pretty cool. Changed my mind. Bang! Shot the dragon instead. Nice try! But too bad! The bullet bounces off me! How is that possible? My dragon skills are stronger than tank armor! Take that! Maybe we can resolve this without fighting then. Let's talk it over! Violence solves everything! <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a new gun with rocks! Are you replacing me? <laughs> yeah, sorry! <laughs> Dragon's dead. Oh, did you forget? I'm bulletproof. My gun didn't shoot a bullet. My gun shot... A smaller gun, which shot a knife, which exploded! <laughs> what was the point of smaller gun in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife. No, but why couldn't the original gun shoot the knife? She keeps an incredible look because it was shooting out the smaller gun. Never mind. Okay, so let's say my elbow is injured now. So if you touch that, I lose. Rah! Min lunges at him. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spits on it so his back is to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. Do you need help? What? No! The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it and he rushes past her, back the way he came. Ah! Min trips and face plants on the bridge. Before Min can see, Dia quickly picks the evil dragon up and hurls him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. Ah! Wait, you're the princess, you can't just do that. Dia throws him off the playground structure too. As he disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. Where is everyone? They balcony collapse. Castle's under reconstruction. Yeah! <laughs> I rescued you! My hero. Yeah! I'm here! Min is struggling to Princess carry Dia down the slide with her. Dia could destroy her in a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can repay me with a kick! <laughs> That's so cute! My name is Dia. I don't really know what else to say about myself, I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Mincio. Everyone calls her Min. She's so cool. You see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with a sharpie like a tattoo. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. She stamps them with staples so they hurt more. But she never throws them at me. I think it's mainly because I'm the only other girl she knows who likes baseball. We both used to think we were the only ones in the world, so we both really got we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous and It must be so fun being on a real team like that. The catcher's gone up to the mountain on a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. I'll be honest, this is like when I first went on my date with my baseball friend. We were watching a game while I was watching him play. Someday that's gonna be us. Wait, what? But how? Your parents won't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor or engineer. Huh? How come? My parents said so. So? My parents said to pass the mass my math test and I failed. That's not something to be proud of. I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents effed up. You should be able to do what you want without worrying about what they think. Fuck! Why did it get so deep? This is so- this is good advice. I don't know, that seems selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. Right now we're at the Oakland Museum with Min's dad and Jun. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't know- don't live in California. Do you know where San Francisco is? Well, we're not there. We're like 30 minutes from there. Hey, Dia. Huh? 
I have something I need to tell you, something important. I, uh... Never mind. Forget it. Huh? I said forget it! Don't worry about it! Aren't you having fun right now? Are you hungry or anything? <laughs> Why are you changing the subject? You're trying to distract me. It's not gonna work. Yeah, that was an obvious move. And wait, did I just move? Oh my god! My mouse has controls! Let's get... Go get popcorn and share. Huh? Popcorn is great. I like popcorn. Min is so nice to me. You just, she just distracted you. Just tell me when you're ready to go to popcorn guys. a few rows behind us. Use the mouse to interact. Oh! I think Min is going for the loudest sound in history world record. Well, this is a new mechanic that I like. What do you mean, safe? You need to get some goddamn laser eye surgery. I hope the person you like likes someone else. Give me a break! <laughs> I choked on my own spit. She looks absolutely mortified, so Dia turns back to the time and pretends she didn't see anything. She's creating something in her arms. Dog? Dia quickly jogs over to take a look. Her severe disappointment is a baby. Dang it. I hate babies. Oh, there's us! We, ju we just barely matched the background, by the way. That's impressive. This is Jun Siyoshi. He went to the bathroom with Dad. Min? Yeah? Talk about baseball. You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents would like you play baseball, why don't you just play softball? Give me your hand, I'll show you. Hmm? Dia offers Min her hand. Min presses their palms together so their hands line up. Her fingertips end a whole inch below Dia's. Her hands are tiny. I guess that makes sense since her name's Min. The rest of her is mini too. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them, they always slip out halfway through the wind-up. Are softballs that much bigger than baseballs? Yeah, but that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softballs and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands? It's backwards, why is it designed like that? Beats me. Okay, that's some use. I never noticed before, but then I never talked to the softball team. I was all too busy flirting with the baseball team. Hope we're in the same class next year. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, about that. Uh. Never mind, everything is fine. This is really suspicious. Oh, don't tell me she's moving away. <sighs> no, what is it? Do you want to not want to be in the same. That's not it! It's just that I won't be. Uh. Um, forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Junsio will know what this is about. Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah! Stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting anywhere you're questioning her like this. Let's go. Okay. The admin got up. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min is gawking excitedly at the baseball fans milling about. Look! There's so many white people here, just like on TV! It really is. The neighborhood we live in is so Asian that I used to think white people were really rare. Too bad all these people are in our way right now, though. We can't get through. I'm going to ask them to move. Excuse me. No one seems to hear her. That was the worst. I'm never speaking again. Time to become a mime. Don't worry, Dia. I'll take care of it. Okay. Mim grabs someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. No! Hey, you dummies! Move or I'll kill you! Startled, people are moving aside. That was not a wise move. The stranger glance over in Dia's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other, they both burst out laughing. Are they laughing at me? I hope not. Rain continues to forge up- there's a dog? What's with the metal song? Leaving a trail of destruction behind her. Oh. Oh my god. Move or I'll kill your entire family! Even your dang fish won't survive! I'll throw all of your fish out into the middle of the street so cars will run over them. Jeez, calm down. I know this looks bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She always lets me be Luigi or Mario Kart. Whenever I land on her space in Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. DIE! We're almost there now. 
Oh, a dog. Ah, it's a dog, cute dog. That's me every time. It doesn't look very strong. I bet I could kill it in one hit. Don't do that. I'm going to pet it. Why would I let Min ask? Why? Okay, all I have to do is ask. Excuse me, can we pet your dog? I better practice, I better practice a few times so I don't mess up when I really say it. Excuse me, can we pet your dad? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Alright, I got this. Let us pet your dog or else! That works too. Go ahead. She won't bite. I'll fly it! Wait, Min. You already agreed. Oh. Right. Pet dog. Leah <laughs> pets the dog. The dog closes its eyes and smiles. Ah! I'm almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you name it? Good question. Shiba. What the heck kind of a name is that? Cool name. It's short for Shiba Inu. Sounds dumb. Then what would you name your dog, Min? Me? Um, Min is thinking of a chance of a place. Skull Crusher! Uh, he is silently laughing at her. <laughs> of course he'd choose a name like that. What? It's better than Shibe. What's wrong with Shibe? Popcorn. Pop Popcorn. Popcorn. He looks busy. I give up. Time to walk away. Hey grandpa! Give us popcorn or else! Min is so brave. Then you better pay up. These are ten dollars a bucket. Ten dollars? What a ripper! Oh my god, no. No. I got it, let's go. He's still curled up in pain. We better go before he recovers and comes after us. What a cute dog. I want five dogs when I grow up. It'll be like having five friends. We will probably train them all into attack dog stuff. Oh, it's my dad, yuck. My dad's in- My Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone, I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Dia must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks it up. Do you want to learn more? Sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi? Easy, it's... Uh... Um... Does she not know how to say it? Chow! Sarang eh? Sarang eh? Sarang eh? Sarang eh? Sarang eh? Min is staring at Dio with really complicated expression on her face. Wait, Sarang eh? That's I love you. Am I saying it right? Yeah, that was good. Wasn't that I love you? Hold on, let me try to remember my uh, days fanning over Gangnam style. Yeah, it's I love you, I think. You can't say that to Chun. Huh? Why not? Because, uh, it's a special kind of hello. You can only say it to certain people, like me. Oh, is it one of those things where you use the wrong one it's really bad? Yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain. But it's correct? Yeah, it's really I love you. Yeah. So only say it to me, got it? Got it. Wow, Korean is really complicated. What about you? How about, how do you say hi? Oh my god. I'll be casual. What language is this? Wait, is this? Hold well, on, I forgot which language it is. Hi. Hi? I, I don't know how to say that. I can't make out what they're saying. I hope they're not saying bad stuff about me. He's still talking on the phone. He doesn't sound like he's just using the phrase Min just taught me. I guess there's not a lot of opportunities to say hi in the middle of a conversation. Hurry, hey, let's hurry up and sit down. Junzio is probably wondering where we are. She's right, poor Junzio. There you guys are. Where'd you guys go? The dog. Yeah, always the dog. Uh huh. Hold on. Fuck, I clicked out. Dia? That's really cryptic. 
Is it? Here, take this. Min gives the popcorn, the uh, the popcorn bucket. <gasps> Min, where'd you get that bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Yeah, it was fun. No, you have to stop stealing and threatening people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I beat them. Even if there was a bear, I'd kill it with my bare hands. That's impossible. I'll punch it real hard in the head like wham! Dead. It's not that easy, you'll just get mauled. Yeah right, I'll dodge. You bet I could kill two different bears at once. Min, no. It's useless, I don't think Min's brain even knows what fear is. Jeez, Jun, you really sound like Noelle sometimes. Noelle is my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes, But wait, you forgot to collect our homework. I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. I think Min wants to kill her. Someday when DS decides she's not, she doesn't like Noelle anymore, I'll kill her. I'll kill her to death. Don't do that. Even though Noelle is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'd make sure to get all the white stringy stuff off too. I bet Noelle wouldn't do that. What the cat can- what cat kind of scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Just because. Forget it. Is there something going on, Min? Like, did she do a felony? Are the police after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day. It's like she's hiding something. Really? I haven't noticed anything odd. I guess even Junio, even Junsio is con isn't concerned. Everything is fine. I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. Thanks. Junsio takes a single piece of popcorn. You can take more than that. Really? You're so nice. Junsio took another single piece. For fuck's sake. Min? Yeah? Thanks. He grabs a fistful of popcorn and stuff his into her mouth. You eat some popcorn. 10 out of 10. We eat again. Oh, some kid behind us is talking to his dad. Dad? Who's dad? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. It's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. The moment the pitch on the movement on that pitch is nuts, like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose, like for fun. They can't even imagine it. Every time we talk to my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. I feel for you, girl! I feel for you! So I only talk to them when they absolutely have to. How come they switch catchers too? Because catching a knuckleball is pretty unpleasant and difficult. If you can do it reasonably well, no one does it really well. That one skill can keep you on the team. A lot of knuckleball pitchers end up having one catcher who specializes in catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. For instance, JC Martin always caught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball. And Doug Mirabelli always catches to Wakefield in his knuckleball for the Red Sox. The two of them even get traded together as a set. It's like a weird baseball marriage. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a great idea. I should learn how to throw a knuckleball and you can catch it for me. Wait, but didn't they just say it's really hard to catch? So what? You're like a baseball goddess. You're overestimating me. I'm not that great. I just got lucky that one time. I've gotten lucky so many times I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand. All those weird, all those were flukes. They just happened by chance. I don't have a special technique or anything. Your special technique is being you. You're the best. You're putting too much faith in me. I'm not that good. When you see what I'm really like, you'll be like, well, that's it? I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher's the coolest. You're so brave. I hate pitching. Why? Gets to stand in mound and kick ass in front of everyone. But that's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make, especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, I look like all the girls suck at baseball. Then don't mess up. That's hard. It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up for them to think that. <gasps> so don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. That's kind of comforting. I've always been alone out there. It'll be you and me against the world. Okay, let's do it. Better hit the ball, it pops up foul. It's coming towards us! 
do you catch us the ball in the popcorn bucket? Wow, I got so lucky. Yeah! Wow, Dia, that was a foul ball. So cool! You're so cool! Dia fishes the ball out of the half empty tub. I better give this to Joan or Min. My parents think I went to study at Noel's house. It'd be too suspicious to bring a baseball back. Apparently, she'd gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still looks really odd. Thanks! For what? Existing. <gasps> ah! Min? Yeah? He holds the baseball out to Min. Can I really have it? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone else touches it, I'll kill them. That's way too extreme. That's a, it's a big deal though. Now we'll always have something to remember you by. Huh? What do you- Ah! That makes it sound like I'm going to die or something. Well shit. You're pretty smooth, Jun. Did... Did Min not tell you? Hmm? Tell me what? We're... Shut the hell your mouth! What? What the heck? It's nothing! Fuck the shut up! Min gets up and runs for it. Min! I've got to go after her. Dia chases Min up the steps and down the concourse where they were they arrived though. Min! Dia grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away! Where? To Florida. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So sudden! It wasn't sudden, I've known for a long time. I've tried everything to stop it. I even threatened Dad with a knife. I can't believe it failed. Violence is always the answer. Florida, that's all the way across the country. There's nothing there except old people. No alligators live there too, I saw an animal planet. So this is it? This is it, sorry. But that's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. I won't see you the rest of my life. Hey, just because I'm moving doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If I want to see you and you want to see me, then it'll end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know! It's not a reason. This is so sad! Then because... Suddenly, Rin seizes Dia's arm. She looks like she's had an epiphany. If you say our names together, it sounds like diamond. 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 What? Like diamond. 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 See? It's even more like it if you say your name wrong. Like die instead of dia. Dia. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like a diamond. But it's more equal to that. My name got cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. I already call you Min. No one says Daya. The substitute teacher does. The substitute teacher sucks. How do you even think of this? I was checking if our name sounded like anything good together, like baseball. How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our friends wouldn't have would have had to make us baseball. I know, I know. But still, it's pretty cool that we match at all, right? And it's even baseball related. The universe is saying we're meant to be together. <gasps> Aww. We'll meet again no matter what. I'll bet you $100. Wait, but how are you going to give me the $100 if you lose? Huh? I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that means you won the bet. What? Technically, I guess? There's nothing technical about it, you just straight up wouldn't pay me. There's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. Never mind, it's okay. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. The point is, this is in the end. I won't give up if you don't give up. Okay? Okay. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay! Ah, uh, Ninth grade. I have to get ready for school. Well, I think this is a good place to drop it off for now. We'll continue this in the next episode. I didn't realize how long this game was gonna be actually, but... It looks good. It looks really good. I don't mind playing more of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll probably make this a series. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Also, this is really good. The art style is great. It's simple. And it's refreshing. I like it. Look. And if you're probably bothered by the fact that it's not Vachikoi, suck it up. I'm just gonna say it now. Look. I need to... I'm not gonna play Bachikoi for the rest of my life just to appease you guys, alright?
I'm not gonna play Mass Jojo every damn time. My channel is meant to be LGBT gaming. You guys kinda twisted that up somewhere on its ass, so I'm gonna twist it back because I'm very flexible. At any rate, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time and I'll save you. Yeah, there's something about Rampy in recording. I'll see you guys next time. This is California Mackie signing out. Bye for now.